It's great to have you back with more Explore Tulsa. And you're just in time, too, because I'm about to get my dance on. Ooh, I've been waiting an entire show to witness this. Heck, Trish, I'm a regular Fred Astaire out there, just gliding around the dance floor, strictly balling. I started teaching over 40 years ago. I started with Fred Astaire Dance Studio as a student. Then went in training for about 10 weeks, and ever since then I've been teaching for 40 years. The Fred Astaire organization is, it had 175 studios. Uh, I had the studio in Oklahoma City with another partner. We had 35 full-time teachers. And we had 50 employees, and we had about 400 students. Uh, sold that out and uh, opened a restaurant for about three years, and then came back in this business. I haven't competed professionally since about 1970. And I, I won Fred Astaire Nationals as a, a novice. And then I entered a couple of other advanced ones and, and got second places in those. And since that time, I haven't competed professionally anymore. One thing is, is of course, it's an art form. Uh, it's the best exercise you can have. They've learned through studies for about 25 years that we all know exercise is good for us. And we used to say that uh, dancing was the second best uh, exercise other than swimming. Now we're saying ballroom dance is even better than swimming because they've learned that when you dance, you, it's like multitasking. Not only do you get the exercise, but you have to think. If you're a lady, you gotta think about what, what he's leading, where he's going, and, and if you're a man, you gotta think of the next step, the timing, and leading the lady. So they decided that ballroom dancing is really great for dementia. We have a lot of couples but we have a lot of single people as well. So our age category is anywhere from 22 to, we have one student, he's 93, and he still flies jet planes. He still has a pilot's license, still flies jet planes. So all age categories. We have a lot of couples as well. They do it for social reasons, as well as the exercise. Uh, a lot of couples do it so they can go out dancing together. And singles do it so they'll have something to do, an activity, an exercise, and hopefully meet someone that also enjoys dancing. Especially for a couple. Uh, there's nothing anything nicer than them walking off the floor and other people congratulating them, telling how great they are. Uh, of course, it makes that ego even bigger than ever, but, but it's, it's, it's an inner glow, it's an inner feeling. It's not something you can explain to anybody, but when you walk on the floor and you're one of the best dancers on the floor and everybody recognizes that, man, it's an awesome feeling. Uh, and couples can do it together. It's a hobby they can do together. Uh, we get a lot of guys in that play golf, but they don't do any other activities with their wives. So here, they can practice, they can dance, they can go out, and it's a hobby they can do together. Well, if it's uh, slower and Latin beat, you'd dance rumba. If it's a Latin beat and it's real fast, you'd dance salsa. Because uh, salsa came about because they would, cha they would play cha-cha so fast that they would leave the cha-cha out. So that's how salsa came about. Uh, and if it's real soft and slow, it's probably a waltz. Uh, we call it foxtrot. We call it foxtrot. Most people call it slow dancing. And then we teach swing, you know, that's just, then swing is the only true American dance there is that originated here. All the rest of the dances originated somewhere else. I'm gonna have one of my teachers named Diana. She's gonna teach you how to do the waltz. So we're gonna get in a dance position. You're gonna start with the left foot. You're gonna step That's forward. That's this foot. Yeah. That's that one, the one I step on. That one. That's it. You're gonna step into me with that left foot for a forward step. We're gonna take a side step with your right foot and close the feet. Great. Now you're gonna take this right foot and you're gonna take a step back. Back. Now you're gonna take a side step and feet together. And that's a waltz box. Oh, you're a regular Fred Astaire. Hey, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so let's try it two times in a row. What okay. say? Yeah. Ready? So we have forward, side, together, back, side, together. Excellent. And now we're just going to continue doing this box. There you are. And we're going to get into a repetition, doing something over and over. Oops, so that's all right. So that it's very natural. Very good. And now you're waltzing. I tell you what, all ladies like dancers, so if you want to learn how to dance, my advice is to learn how. You can walk in any place and dance with any lady. If you're good, they just can't wait till you ask them.